I'm going to show you how to use Tennis Flex. So, Tennis Flex is comprised of three clamps, two Y clamps, which are made of hard plastics, so they won't hurt the racket. They can go on the racket head at any two points to create different types of resistance. Uh, right now, doing just a basic 3-9 pattern, really simple. Uh, and the third clamp is a base clamp, which goes at the base of your resistance, uh, the bottom of the net. Really simple, really easy. It's not exactly going to move on you. So now that I've showed you all the different parts of Tennis Flex, I'm going to show you how to actually use it. Before you work out, make sure that your clamps are securely fastened. You don't want to get hurt. So I'm going to start off with a right-handed forehand. Make sure that before that, uh, the further you are away, just keep in mind more resistance from the base. You want to already make sure that there's resistance in the band before you start. And when you start, you want to make sure that you're your hand is at the throat of the racket, which is, it provides the least amount of resistance to start. As you get better, you can slide further down the throat. And, you know, that'll, that obviously when you feel more comfortable with your strength, but always start at the throat. So, for exercising, simply extend until you feel this tension, this resistance. It's going to build muscle in your forearms, your shoulders, your core, your legs, all at the same time. Hold for five to 10 seconds, and then release. And you keep doing this, just basic isometric exercises. If you want more of a workout, obviously, you can go further down, as I was saying earlier, or you can try stepping further out, whatever is good for you. All right, so let's talk about topspin forehand. So I've got my two Y clamps at about maybe two, four o'clock. Same setup. I'm going to step out so that there's resistance in the bands. I'm going to start low, because topspin, you want to go from low to high, get under the ball. So, as I've already got resistance, I'm going to extend out. You can see I've got it pretty low, so this is more resistance. I'm going to go up. Now, as I'm going up, I'm generating that kind of the path that you need to generate the topspin. I'm getting the aerodynamic approach to the ball while, ex while strengthening my muscles so that I can do this you know, more easily. And as I get stronger, I'll have the motion down and I'll be able to generate more racket head speed because I've, I will have built up mu the muscles in my arms. So, as you can see, start low. Go out, make contact with the ball, brush up. That's top spin right there. All right, so now for the backhand. As you can see, I didn't have to change my setup at all. It's real nice and simple. Same idea. You want to start at the throat of the racket, unless you're more comfortable, in which case, slide down. You want to start below, because it's the same idea of top spin. Start low, make sure that there's already some resistance. Go out to contact, and go up. And as I get more comfortable, like I said, you'll be able to Choke, uh, choke up less on the throat of the racket, increase resistance. As long as I've got this form down, I'll be able to build my racket head speed and I'll have muscle memory for when I get out there on the court. Right, and now for the serve. So, same idea, resistance. I've had to uh, redo my setup just a little bit, made it a little wider. So, for the serve, obviously you want to be able to come underneath the ball, rush up, generates the top spin, allows you to hit the ball both over the net and then drag it down into the service box. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to be able to drop your shoulder back and extend out. This is generating, this is working on mostly your shoulder muscles and a little bit of the core. You're going to pull up and as you strengthen this, these muscles, you'll be able to then swing faster and your match will be able to generate more, top, more topspin because you will have more racket head speed. So it's just a real simple pull out, extend, go a little bit further if you want, but that's pretty much it. Just drop back, go out. Volley, same setup as the serve. Just turn. I have my hand down here. You can use your left hand as a support if you're right-handed, or your right hand as a support if you're left-handed. It's just a simple turn, step, and pull. It's going to work out. You can really feel it in your, your arm, forearm, shoulder. And this turn, building those muscles, is going to allow you to, in a match, you'll be able to have fit faster hands in the net because it'll be as simple as just a quick pull. And you'll be able to have cleaner volleys because you're getting in position quicker. It's just the same thing on the backhand side. Nice, keep the racket face open, facing the net. Feel that resistance, and go back. Like I said, just five to 10 seconds on each side. Uh, per round, maybe do three, and then you're done. So pros have been using resistance bands for years. It's a well-known secret. I'm going to teach you how to use this resistance band with your racket, not only to just muscle strengthening and muscle warm-up, 
the muscle memory so that you'll be able to go on the court feeling stronger and you'll, your body will already be warmed up in terms of swinging and swing patterns. So, a real basic one we have, just a simple pull on each side. Do this with you know, both arms on each side, just a warm up, kind of triceps, a little bit of the shoulder workout. And you can get your left hand, left hand in there too. Uh, then another simple one you can always do is just practicing your take back for your strokes. Take back, pull, feel the resistance, you can see it. Back for a couple seconds, go back, bring it back to my backhand side. Got a little resistance there. Go back, go back. You can warm up your shoulders, your body, your core. You can also get your feet involved. I'm just going to show you a real basic drill on the forehand side. You can do the same thing on the backhand. Start in position, have it taken back. I'm going to use two hands. If you want, you can be courageous and use one. That's up to you. Just simply turn, pull, getting your split step involved here. See, working up my thighs, staying low, so I'll be able to drive through the shot. No standing up. You get really an all body workout here. You can really feel it in the core and shoulders as well as the but Obviously, incorporating the legs, big benefit for the game. So once your legs are a little bit more warmed up, you can incorporate more movement, and you can also kind of play around with how you're using the racket to incorporate different muscles. So for instance here, I can kind of experiment with my take back, just a basic forehand. Keep in mind, you can always do the same thing on the backhand side. Feel that resistance, you see moving around, then I can take up, and I can do a volley. So now right there, you've got your ground strokes and your volleys. Your feet are now warmed up. So as you've seen, Tennis Flex is good for core workouts, uses resistance training, also helps with you know, your balance. Uh, if, you want to, if you want more information, you can visit tennisflex.net. We, uh, we have a whole array of indoor and outdoor training videos. Uh, it, it, goes into much more, it, it goes into much more detail than what I've got, and it gives you more to watch, more exercises out there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Daniel.